Okay, so here is the front page of WHMCS after you have installed it. Now, uh, let's go cruise around all the menus they have here under setup. You have quite some functions to go through. Under utilities, the same thing. Report is just for viewing your sales reports and so forth. Support is to manage your day-to-day -day support to your clients, billings to manage your billings, orders to check your orders, new orders, previous orders and so forth and here's to manage your clients, send emails to them and list your client base based on particular services they have, products and so forth. So I'm going to break um, the WHMCS video guides into many many smaller videos because it's simply uh, going to take too long if I'm going to bundle it into one video. So I'm going to take my time in explaining each and every functions you have here so you can best utilize WHMCS for your um, own business. And at the end of this video uh, tutorials, I'm going to show you on how you can also develop your own custom um, plugins so you can create your own functions which uh, doesn't come with WHMCS out of the box. So we're going to do that as well and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's get started. So um, please uh, follow the steps uh, and we're going through here together um, in the same order we go through it. So we're not going to go from top to bottom I'm sorry, from top to bottom but uh, I'm going to go to, through steps and eventually we're going to go all through the functions um, uh, WHMCS provides here. So let's uh, get started. First I'm going to go to setup and the general settings. Now I'm going to use my pen now. Um, now I'm going to change to rectangle and here I'm going to point out that each menu pay close attention to these tabs right because um, you can actually not can but you have to actually go through each tab here so as um, you can see you can click on here okay each tab has its own options domain tab mail support, invoices, credits, affiliates, security, other. So make sure you won't miss any of uh, these uh, settings which you need to set. So uh, enough about that, let's get over to the first um, general tab here. Here uh, we're just simply gonna fill out all the details here and I'm going to fill this out and, and I'm going to explain it to you each field that is uh, not really clear. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to fill this out and I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so now I have filled this out and we're going to point out um, everything here. Okay, so I'm going to use my um, pen. First of all is the company name here. Okay. Here's um, where you put your company name, okay? Simply uh, put your domain name if you don't have a company incorporated, uh, incorporated yet. So for this example, I can also put it uh, memo.com, like that. If you already have a company um, incorporated, you can put like I put here, it memo incorporated, okay? So that's simply that. And the next one is the email address, simply um, simply fill out um, the email address you use for this business and make sure to always check that email address on a daily basis and that's pretty much it the next one is the domain name here now entering um, your domain name it's pretty straightforward the logo URL now since um, I don't have a logo created yet for this business so I'm gonna skip this part 
I'm gonna leave this blank. Now pay to tax, make sure you enter your um, business, oh, sorry about that, make sure you enter your business um, address here. So all your invoices will have this address which you put here. So make sure you put that or even better, make sure you type in um, your company um, name on the top. Okay. Eat memo. incorporated for this example okay